going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of the G-Man franchise. You guys voted. No one voted no. Six votes that said to keep going with season four. So that's what we're going to do. As you guys can see in the My Team ranks, we are, our offense was number two in points per game. Our passing yards per game were number 14. Our rushing yards per game were number 10. And our defense was pretty good, except apparently the pass rush wasn't too good. So that's something to keep in mind. We, let's look at the retirements. He retired. Matt Stafford retired. Bob Havenstein, Andrew Norwell, Mike Evans. Okay. Travis Kels, Khalil Mack, Russell Wilson. Wow. Lots of free agents have re has retired as well. I'm just trying to see if there's any other notable names. A lot of these guys are obviously notable, but see if anything else just happened. But okay, some interesting people retired. Mike Evans, I did not expect it, but you know, you got your Super Bowl ring. Why not? So we have about 30 million to see if we could uh, re-sign players here. Evan Neal. Evan Neal, we give him a player-friendly deal. It gives us 13 million remaining caps, so we get him back. Jamie Gillen, the Scottish punter. Scottish Hammer. Um, let's see if uh, we give him a deal to come back. Give him a two-year deal. He wants to go to free agency, so we're in the hunt for a new punter. Andy Yanovich, our fullback. Honestly, he's getting older, so I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him test free agency. Dan Bellinger. Um, he probably wants to be on the team long term, but he's just not interested in signing either. Matt Pert as a backup tackle. He's only 20. He's 29 years old, but he's great. He's a great player to have on the team. Dane Belton, I like having him as a backup safety. He plays really well for our team, so and he's more than happy to join back. Cordell Flott. We have Cordell Flott, Marcus McKeithen, Keith Ismail. Keith Ismail is interested in joining back, so why not have him join back, give him a two-year deal? And we got our backup center solidified. And then one more guard position. It's either between Josh Uzedu. Or Marcus McKeithen. Marcus McKeithen is 27, wants to come back. We'll give him a two year deal. We'll have about 1 million remaining. Now, with that being said, our offense is now in 97. Our defense is a 94. We really don't have to make moves, to be honest. Um, offense is just amazing. CJ's a 98. Josh Downs is a 93. George Pickens is a 95. Saquon's a 99. Saquon's a 99. He's the leader of this team. OG captain, yeah, so, but he is going to be reaching 30 this year, so he's getting he's getting close, he's getting close, and defense is pretty solid, um, lower offense, the lower overall than our offense, but we still make it work, so we don't have a pick until the second round, so we're going to use that pick for possibly a cornerback just to have in a depth, because we did lose Cordell Flott, and he can make a good, he can be a good pick for us to have there, and... Are we're pretty much solid at most positions, and let's see let's see what's available. So I see a guy named Marcel Barrett. We got James Martinez. We also got London Turner, cornerback. Very interesting to see. Um, so let's see what other cornerbacks are listed on there. Two to three projections. A lot of man to man guys here. Uh, C catch, C man coverage, D zone. It's not really too good. We also have David Joseph. This is not looking too too good. Cameron Finley. Um, A to C press, savvy defender, Jets and Patriots would look like a fit for us. He's pretty okay. He's not the strongest, but he's kind of fast. He's kind of fast. So I'm gonna pick him up. Cameron Finley, normal dev, 92 speed. He's gonna be there to learn as as a DB behind Sauce and the Dory Jackson. So that works out for us. We're gonna definitely use a punter. We're definitely gonna draft a punter. Hopefully, like we make the story of like we find a story of like the greatest punter. To like ever punt in the league. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something like that. Like a crazy story. Potential undrafted. B awareness. D kick. His accuracy. Whoa. You guys can't even kick. This guy though. He could kick. Oh my god. There's only six punters. He's an accurate punter. I like this guy. Nick Brenner from Southern Utah. Okay. I, I would go with that. I'm going to go with that with our last pick. Uh, with our next pick here, they keep saying we need an inside linebacker. Day three players. Uh, I'm going to probably trade our picks back because I don't even know what else we need on the team. I mean, let's go to the next user pick. All right, we have the second to last pick in the NFL draft, and we're going to go with our punter. We're going with that punter. I told you I wanted to get him, and this is what we're going to do. Nick Brenner, welcome. We need you. 
You have eight kick accuracy, eight kick accuracy, F short accuracy. That's fine. Top pick, normal dev. He has 84 kick power. Doesn't matter. He has great kick accuracy, and that's why we picked him up. So we fulfilled all of our needs. <laughs> So we're back in old. They gave us a 91 defense now. Our offense is still a 97. So we have a pretty strong offense. Not going to lie. Um, wow. CJ went from a 98 to all the way down to 94. Saquon is just naturally 99 because, you know, he's goaded. And defense with that corner we picked up, he's our fifth corner. Was his name Wagner? I don't even remember. But pretty much everything really stayed the same with what we're rocking here. Um, not not really much changes. Our punter is a 71 overall, so he's gonna be learning our rookie punter. And yeah, I mean these guys, these guys, it's just the same crew from last year. So what we want to see, we're gonna we're gonna make a huge jump, and we're gonna see, we're gonna send to the midseason. I think we can go send to the midseason and see if uh, CJ Strood can lead us to a great record. Oof, so we're 5-2. and two. Our return game will be against the Houston Texans in the next episode on who we're playing. 5-2 and two is pretty good. We just lost to the Seahawks, who obviously have just a powerhouse of a team. We lost by 6 to them. And then we're facing Jay Herbo and the Buccaneers yet again, dude. We love, they love pitting us against them. And they're 7-0 and oh this season, so they're not playing any games. So we lost to the Colts, and we lost to the Seahawks. So Colts game, let's see who they have, what happened in that. We threw one pick. Will Levis. Will Levis beat us. Wow, okay. That's that's fair. You know, it was a close game, too. Close game, too. Same thing with uh, the Seahawks game here. We ended up losing by six. They got the revenge on us. Anthony Richardson threw four tutties and got sacked twice, while we threw two tutties and got sacked once. Rushing attack, we, we held our own. Love to see it. So, in the next episode, we'll be playing Bryce Young and the Texans. It should be, this should be pretty good. This should be pretty good. Um, I hope that... I hope that we can we can hold our own and this team can uh, continue doing what they do. Our offense is ranked sixth in the league. We're second in passing touchdowns. And our defense is 14th. Wow. 18 touchdowns, four interceptions. And CJ Stude's only been sacked three times in seven games. Can't tell me the offense is not doing its thing. Rushing-wise, Saquon's doing amazing. He has no fumbles either this season. George Pickens already has nine touchdowns. So he's, he's balling already. Defense, which is surprisingly middle of the pack of the... NFL is not doing too well, shockingly. We only have two interceptions, so that's kind of concerning, but I think we'll be able to pick it up. Uh, let's th let's take a look at the rankings. Because Bryce Young has only eight touchdowns and four picks. Our offense is ranked number... Points per game is number five. Yards per game is number 10. Number, number two in rushing yards per game. Our defensive points per game is nine. Our defensive passing yards allowed per game is 11, and our rushing yards per game is 20. So they have the number one rushing defense and the number one pass yardage defense. Well, their offense pretty much sucks. So this will be an interesting game. It'll be an interesting way to ease back into it, but we'll just have to see.